Lab 42 wants to know how the input validation works in the DNS lookup page when the system is set to security level five. We can do that by inspecting the code. So in a terminal, we'll open up the DNS lookup page and we'll just look at the source code to see how it works. Well, towards the top, we can see that when we're in security level five, some flags are set to be true. One of them is gonna be protecting against different types of attacks. So we have method tampering or cross-site scripting and those. And those set out below a series of checks that are done. If we go down to the one where it says protect against command injection and look at that specifically, we can see that it's doing a regular expression match on these patterns, IPv4, domain name, and IPv6. If one of those values is entered, then it says that it's been validated. Otherwise, it doesn't. And so that's how we end up finding out whether the input is valid or not. If we follow this variable, target host validated, and we'll just go ahead and follow that on down the page. Down here at the bottom, when the form gets submitted, the code first checks to see if the input is the input that was expected before it runs the script to do the DNS lookup here with DNS get record. And what were those regular expression patterns? To see those, we'll need to look at the constants page. And that's going to be in found inside of the includes folder. So we open up that source code and scroll down a little bit. And here we find the different patterns. So we have IPv6, v4, and then the domain name pattern. We can see what the code's doing is it's making sure that the input matches what was expected to be input. Anything else that gets entered is not going to be considered validated in the if statement down below where it does the DNS lookup is not going to run. So to answer the question, the input validation only allows legitimate values. 